you will be surprised to know that the incidence of kidney stones in the uh, Indian population, especially in North India, is 1 in 10. Such is the magnitude of this problem in our society. So, uh, many people come to me asking for the home remedies, how to prevent the stone from occurring. So, for them, I usually advise four uh, suggestions. First thing and the foremost thing is the intake of water. Nothing can beat the water in as far as, far as uh, stone prevention is concerned. Even if you don't follow any other advice, but just be very, very careful about your water intake, that can do the trick. So, what is the uh, solution? Drink around 3 to 4 liters of water in a day. You should drink that much water so that your urine remains clear and your 24 hour urine output is around 2 liters. Then you are doing a good job. So, water intake is the prime thing. Now, you will ask me, but which type of water is good? Water in any form. You may take uh, lime water. That is actually good. When lemon has been found to have citric acid in it, which is a good thing as far as stone is concerned. So, lime water is good but no addition of too much of sugar or salt with it and uh, in addition other juices like orange juice like uh, curd like lassi they are all good as far as liquid intake is concerned so this is the most important factor so another uh, important factor is excess salt intake so what does salt to do salt has a chemical called as sodium sodium is known to cause excess release of calcium in urine which can lead to stone formation and uh, also over a crystal of sodium uh, there can be more and more stone formation so in any case we have to decrease the intake of sodium in our body so uh, what can be done no added salts no table salts no uh, excessive of packaged food no excessive intake of pickles so that can somewhat regulate our salt intake third important factor is the excessive protein intake some people are used to taking too much of non-vegetarian food seafood or um, too much of eggs so what happens these uh, non-vegetarian foods contain a lot of purines which can later get converted into uric acid the uric acid is a very important factor for stone formation also it has been seen that excessive animal protein intake can lead to uh, excess release of calcium in the body which can further lead to stone formation so take proteins that is good important for body but in moderation especially the animal proteins coming to the fourth point which is also an important point is excessive oxalate rich diet now what is this oxalate rich diet oxalate is the culprit because it binds with calcium in the body leading to formation of calcium oxalate crystals so what do these crystals do they settle down in the urine and lead to calcium oxalate stone formation you uh, you would understand the importance because calcium oxalate is almost 90 percent of all the stones so we have to decrease the oxalate intake where is oxalate found oxalate is found in all the green leafy vegetables especially spinach uh, tomato brinjal so uh, we have to decrease the intake of these uh, foods i would not say totally cut them out but you have to just decrease if you are taking it every day or every alternate day then just decrease it now other things which need to be decreased as far as oxalate food is concerned is chocolates uh, too much of hard boiled tea and uh, beetroot uh, we can uh, also have to regulate our intake of nuts like cashew nuts so all these factors if we do together with intake of good amount of water to keep ourselves well hydrated especially for those people who are out in the sun who work outdoors who have a lot of sweating so for them also these things have a lot of importance and if we follow them religiously then the chances of store formation are extremely low